During any given year, kids living in foster care can move three to four times, and often many kids have to carry their belongings in a trash bag or a cardboard box. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how an organization in Pasco County is stepping up to help. Inside Pasco County Extension One Stop Shop, there are closets filled with hundreds of suitcases. Now, some people may call this luggage, but those who are receiving these suitcases, they call it love. They're welcome to pick and choose uh, whatever they like. Elizabeth Ercola runs the Luggage of Love program. She says it's like Christmas morning, handing a foster child a gently used suitcase. One little child said, oh, I'm going to Paris, and she was ecstatic with her new luggage. In the past two years, Pasco County Extension has given away more than 200 suitcases and backpacks to displaced children throughout the county. They have dignified means to transport their personal belongings, and it's just very heartwarming to see that. Sunrise of Pasco is one of several organizations in the county that frequently makes pickups for children and families in need. Most of the time when survivors come into our shelter, they come either with nothing or they come with trash bags. Kara Donahue said, while many of us take something as simple as a suitcase for granted, for these children, it's a sense of pride, ownership, and hope. Uh, it's priceless. When, you, when they get to wheel their own little suitcase with their own belongings um, out of shelter. And One Stop Shop takes every precaution to make sure these suitcases are safe. They call it the oven. It's to sterilize the luggage because it heats up at about 130 degrees. They even include dry erase luggage tags so they can write their information on it, go to the next home and erase it and not really have a memory of the, all the recent homes that they've been at. And with more people looking to get back into traveling this summer, if you plan on buying a new suitcase, Luggage of Love would be glad to take your old one. There are displaced children and uh, folks in the community who can definitely greatly benefit from your donations. In Pasco County, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.